Tom Taylor, thanks for talking with DC Science Comics Science. News. Thanks for having me. We have the DC yeah, Legends here talking about two key books in the yeah. in the DC universe. Um, first one being Deceased. Yes. Yeah. It's out there, it's sold out. Yes, it has sold out entirely. Those, for those DC fans who somehow don't know anything about Deceased, yeah. do you want to give us just a very brief overview of what of what it is? Uh, look, it's ridiculous and horrific. Um, and if you read it, you're a terrible person. Uh, no, it's, um, it's a book... That it's kind of zombie-esque, you know, absolute DC horror. Um, all of your most beloved heroes die horrifically and tragically and violently. Um, so if you're into that, buy Deceased. Um, but look, it, we're having a lot of fun with it. And it's, you know, it's just been announced as a number one seller for May, so obviously people are into it. Apparently, yeah. I think all the prints are out. They're yes, gone. yeah, no, completely sold out of issue one. We're getting a second printing, but yeah, if you find any on shelves, get them. Yeah. So I read book one last week. Yeah. Um, very dramatic, very yes. quick. Yep. The artwork, the story, um, yep. hooks you in. Um, we see characters, I don't want to spoil too much for people that haven't read it, but we see characters like Batman who are clearly caught on the back foot. Yes. Um, one of his sidekicks uh, is, uh, is in a different state, let's put it that way. Considering the story... Yeah. Um, does it humanise the characters? Does it does it change well, it how does. we perceive the, foresee the characters? I'd say so, because, it, look, we're, we're honestly putting them in situations like you're used to seeing the heroes come up on top and be ready, and for people like Batman to be ready for whatever's coming. And Batman is definitely not ready for this. That's the thing. Um, and, you know, you're used to not seeing them have to deal with very major trauma, very big deaths, very, you know, beloved friends and family dying in yep. front of them um, and we're doing all of that how did the opportunity come about to, to work on deceased is this your idea or was no it, it was um, uh, my editor Ben Abernathy who I've, I've known for years we're very good mates uh, and he came to me and said Tom I have this idea do you want to do a horror book for us and he came up with the name of deceased which I thought was ridiculous um, but he's a genius it turns out um, and I thought about it and I'm like eh and there was something else I was doing at DC and then that fell through and I went yes straight away like I just kept having more and more ideas I'm like oh man then we can do this then we can do this then we can do this and I'm writing to the editor and we're you know cackling manically back and forth uh, in as you know working out how we can horrifically rip apart beloved heroes <laughs> amazing yeah um your legacy I think your, your big legacy is injustice yeah yeah would you agree Maybe. Yeah, certainly. I think that's probably what most people, you know, for a long time I was the injustice writer, you know, unless you followed my Marvel stuff, um, which is completely different. But yeah, certainly injustice was the thing that sort of put me on the map at DC. And did yeah. you did you anticipate it was going to be as big as what it ended up being? No, no one did. You know, I was originally hired for 15 chapters, yeah, so right. for 15 weeks, uh, and I ended up writing 150 with you know and took two years off in the middle there so it was really it was a juggernaut like nobody saw what it was going to be um but but having said that you know i was hired for 15 weeks it was my first time getting to write my heroes you know even though it was a, in a terrible place i was getting to write the heroes that i loved um and so for me i just wanted to show them what i could do I certainly think now it's it's one of the iconic stories in the DC in the DC library. Yeah. Do you have a favourite Injustice book or a favourite moment in Injustice? Across uh, uh, look, Hulk I Hulk? have a fair few. Obviously, um, you know, I love the the Quiver story with Harley Quinn and Green Arrow. Um, anytime Harley and Black Canary and Green Arrow are together is always you know good sparks flying there. I wrote a an actual Superman story, which is sort of about a kid falling off his bike and Superman just helping and being you know, the man I wished he was as I was writing it, basically writing a story saying, hey, no one should like Injustice. Inju like, this is what Superman should be. Um, to all of my readers. And the boy falling off his bike was basically me as a kid. Uh, so, you know, that was a big one for me. Um, but there are so many moments that, I've, that I loved on that book. I had a ball. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for talking with me. Thank you for talking with DC Comics News. Thank you. Um, come down to Oz Comic Con in Melbourne and see Tom Taylor, the DC yeah. legend. Cheers. Thank Thanks, you. Man. Cheers.